All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? Today we got this Buick. I'm gonna be changing the oil out of it. Just doing a little tune up. First things first. If you haven't watched the last video, go ahead and watch it. I took the engine off the recon. Um, but with that being said, let's see where this oil filter is. And this is a front wheel drive, so I'm gonna have to chalk the back. So this this filter's on the bottom, so I'm gonna jack this car up. When you're jacking this car up, make sure you chalk the rear wheels, or else you're gonna have a car running away from you. Oil pans right here, oil filters right here. It's not that not far away from each other at all. It doesn't look like you're gonna be able to get a wrench on there. Maybe with an extension, but. So you wanna crack that just to get that out of the way. I don't have to deal with the. I don't have to deal with the filter. So that filter is cracked. Now I'm going to get this drain bolt off. All right, so this is going to be a 15 millimeter. I guess so. 15 millimeter. It was locked on there. Got some blue Loctite on there. Got a lot of blue Loctite. Like they really locked that on there. Definitely wasn't gonna have any oil leaks anytime soon. That is for sure. Be careful of hot oil if you ran your car. This is hot, but I am used to it, so. All right, so as you can see, that's draining. It's almost fully drained. I'm going to take this filter out. This still has a decent bit in it too. So there we go. Old oil is out. Now we refill. So obviously make sure you put the drain bolt back on. Cause you don't wanna be filling up with the drain bolt out. Don't put that on too, too tight. Just put them on nice and snug. Now you want to make sure you take some of the old oil and you just kind of dab it on there on the gasket. You can actually take it from the engine. 
and get that nice and looped up. Put that back on. So just get that filter on hand tight. You don't want to put this on crazy. This should be good. And that is really the hardest part right there. So filters on, oil's drained out. Now we got to put the oil back in. All right, so drain bolt is right here. You want to use 5W30. Um, so just unscrew that. And when you're filling this up, you want to make sure you're checking it. Uh, you can never really check too much. I'm using just synthetic, full synthetic 5W30 pens oil. So I'm just gonna pour a whole quart in. Right, so I got two quarts in right now. It's kind of a little messy, but um, funnel will definitely help with that. There's somebody wrote on here four quarts with filter. I'm not really going to trust that, but I have two quarts in right now. I'm gonna pour a third and then check the level. You really don't want to spill too much because this stuff is expensive. There's three quarts in here, and I'm gonna check the level, see where it's at. Just wipe some of this off. So it looks like we are about where we need to be. I may need to back this up a little bit because it's on a slanted slope because this driveway is really slanted. So I'm just going to put about half a quart in here. That's about a quarter. Now I'm going to back this up just a couple feet just so I can actually uh, get a more accurate reading. All right, y'all. So car is gone. Put exactly four quarts in it and that was perfect for it. No leaks, no problems. Uh, thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Peace.